when somebody shoot the ship? No, I don't think it was a shooting. I think maybe someone got ran over or something. Ran over somebody? They took two trucks. I don't know what's going on. Two Is trucks? Wow. That's just as many cops as you have, huh? There's cops everywhere, bro. Yeah, everywhere, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be, I'm recording right now. Are you recording? Yeah, well, I got a friend that does a TV show. He's a truck driver, Lockout Man. Oh, okay. You should look it up on YouTube, Lockout Man. Oh, okay. Hey. Yo, I want to give a super shout out to my man, my brother from another mother. You know what I'm saying? My man D Nitty in the house, night driver and night transportation trainer. He's one of the good ones out there, y'all. So if you ever get the night transportation, look my man up and he'll get you right. Shout out to my man. Yo, thanks for getting that video for me about what happened to that young lady that night, man, bro. Yo, if you guys want to be shout out in the next video, don't forget to like this current video right here. Make sure you like it. Like it. You know what I'm saying? Like it. Anyway, comment and hashtag shout out. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 doing this podcast for you guys. Hey, yo, I want to give a super shout out to my son right quick. Yesterday, he showed me how to... Uh, how to do this how to do my camera setup with my with my lighting and everything so it's like a little bit more focused a little bit more tight instead of being outward so i'm thankful thankful that he uh came downstairs and hooked me up last night yo man what's going on guys i i, I want to tell you right now there's just some sad sad shit that that's just going on with us truckers out here man you guys when you come out here in the game and it's and you're trying to find some parking you you gotta make sure you know that where you parking that is is legit you know what i'm saying let me let me tell you what's going on in the trucking world right now before i get into this video man this young lady that i'm about to reference you know what i'm saying I just had a conversation with her last night. We chopped it up. You know, she'll be on the she'll be on the show. Well, she's already on the show because we already did the 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 interview. But I'll be chopping that up and getting that out to you guys soon. You know, I got so many I got so many interviews I gotta chop up now, you know. I'm busy. I'm a I'm a truck driver, but I'm still trying to get it get it get it for you guys, you know what I'm saying? With this content and everything. But listen. I had a conversation with her last night. It was all good. It was it was a great conversation. We hung up the phone. She was stuck at her receiver for about five or so hours. And me, you know, I, I went to bed. I go to sleep only to wake up this morning to some troubling video that she posted. She started a live feed this morning about her ordeal at what looks like a rundown piece of shit of a truck stop that's located somewhere in Louisiana. It, I, I think I should have had the map up on the screen right about now that you guys should see. But she, she gets up this morning. She gets a knock at the door. Okay. I guess this person that works at this, uh, at this, at this truck stop, the parking lot attendant or somebody. I don't know, but right now, I'm about to let her explain. I just tried to fucking leave and do jump all of my damn staircase. Jump his ass all in front of my truck. He called me a nigger and all that shit. I've been here four hours, y'all. I've been here four hours at this man place. And I didn't know that they charged for parking. There you go. I've been here four, for going on five hours. I didn't know they charged for parking, right? I was tired. I was exhausted. I didn't see the sign that charged for parking. So I said, okay, he wakes me up because I've been here all this time and says, you need to pay for parking. So I said, okay, well, I don't have nothing but a debit card, so I'm just going to move. That little piece of shit gets his ass in front of my truck and blocks me from leaving. Now, one of my fucking tires, and then, now, he put one of my fucking tires on flat, calling me a nigga. Say you, you freaking bitch. You freaking bitch. 
Supposedly, he put one of my tires on flat. Because I was trying to move. Got his ass in front of my fucking truck, climbed on top of my stairs, and held onto my railing like this while I was moving, trying to lose. Now, listen here. That dude that knocked on their door and asked her, you know, that did that stuff to her, man, that dude was totally wrong. He was out the pocket. He was out of the pocket with that. You know what I'm saying? He was wrong, and it was messed up what he did. You know what I'm saying? Number one, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If a person wants to leave, you let them leave. You don't step in front of their truck and stop them from leaving. You let them leave. You don't mess with their trucks, you don't mess with their person, and you definitely don't don't badmouth the person with with calling them all out of their names and everything like that. Hi. Hello. I will shake your hand. How you do? How you doing? I've been here over five hours. Five hours I've been parked. Now I didn't see the sign paying for parking. I was so exhausted. But somebody been parked at this store since I've been parked here. When I try to say, well, look, all I have is a debit card. I'm going to move, right? He gets in front of my truck. Then he, then he does this. When I'm trying to bag back. Yeah. Yes, that's him. When I try to bag back, that's what he do next. I try to bag back and go that way and go out. This what he does. When I'm in motion. Like I said, you, you, you don't do none of that. If she didn't have no cheese for you, bruh, if she didn't have none, then you should have just told her, yo, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Point blank simple. You don't do none of that stuff that you've done to her. All that, all that for $10? $10 at a raggedy ass parking lot? You know what I'm saying? All you had to do was just ask her to leave. Now you put this young lady's safety in danger. You know what I'm saying? You're a parking lot attendant. You know what I'm saying? You put her lot you you put her safety in danger by doing what you did, bruh. That's not cool. That is not cool. You made her very uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? In this video, man, this video. This is this is as is an emotional video that she posted. This is the first time I ever seen or heard this young lady this emotional. You know what I'm saying? She don't bother nobody. She never bothered nobody. She's about the sweetest person that you could probably meet. Now I haven't met her in person, but we're we're cool like that over the phone and over YouTube and over Facebook and all like that. You know what I'm saying? We have good conversations with each other. Like I said, I will have that video and the podcast of, of me talking to her uh, shortly, man. But right now she was, she was, she, she, she was so emotional, but she did a good thing by calling the police, staying in the truck, make, making sure that she was recording even though she was live. She made sure that she got it on video. She called the police. The police came up there, you know, and they took her, you know, took her information and all like that. But in the process of taking her information, I think the video stopped, something like that. But um, that's when she got out. She explained the situation. Now, again, as far as the park attendant goes, you know what I'm saying? It looks like he don't give us no kind of respect. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come over there, you're going to knock on the door, and she couldn't pay you. And now you're going to get, you, you're you going to flip the script. Bruh, Bruh, I wouldn't pay you for that stuff either. Raggedy ass parking lot, man. Come on, gravel, no no lights, no safety, no security, no nothing. And you want us to pay $10? Man, come on now. Come on now. It's just unfortunate that you was the only place that she can come for at least what she thought was a safe haven. Look, man, you if if that was a dude that you would have did that to, I don't think it would have been pretty. <laughs> I don't think it would have been pretty. 
I'm just saying. You 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 gonna you gonna do that to the wrong driver. One one of these days, you are gonna turn around and do that to the wrong driver. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's not gonna be a good look for you. It's not gonna be a good look for you, parking lot attendant. You was out of pocket, bro. What you should have did was went back and apologized. But you you call her you call her all n words and and bees and fees and all like that and mess with the lady's truck. Come on now, come on now. Look, it's real. Listen, it's really real in the field out here. You know what I'm saying? Truck driver safety is our number one concern over everything else our safety is number one concern we got to be vigilant in the in the interstates we got to be vigilant where we park at we got to be vigilant where we are you know what i'm saying because we truck drivers we really don't be we don't have no kind of appreciation none now there's a few of you out there that do appreciate what we do and I appreciate you for appreciating us. But for the few that don't, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all. Just, just realize, and I know I say this before, and I know it's not going to never happen. But just realize if, if we all decide to take, take a day off, what will happen? That would never happen, but I'm, I'm just saying. What will happen? Always know, all you, always know your situation. You know what I'm saying? Again, make sure you guys stay vigilant out there. All right. I just want you guys to stay vigilant. I want you guys to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? There. It was another incident that that my dude sent me. But before I get into that, yo, Shape World, listen, I'm glad everything worked out and I'm here for you. Of course, you know, just give me a call. But listen. I just want you to 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 be safe out here and all like that. And if you feel uncomfortable next time, you know what I'm saying? If you feel uncomfortable, you know what to do. You know what to do. You know, it's a good thing that it just didn't get ugly. And I appreciate that. All right. So, yo, get with your guy. Holler at me. Let me know if you're all right. All right. All right. So check this out. As I was saying about safety, my man, my man, my man, D Nitty. Always, always, always hook your boy up. You know what I'm saying? He comes with some good, uh, he comes with some good content for me. Uh, he was the one that was giving me all of the reaction videos at the time. You know what I'm saying? But YouTube had a field day with me when I was when I was talking about him. So unfortunately, I can't talk about that or those particular videos. But I can talk about this one before I go. Oh. I think somebody shoot the shit. No, I don't think it was a shooting. I think maybe someone got ran over or something. Wait, ran over somebody? They took two trucks, so I don't know what's going on. Two it's trucks? Wow. That's just as many cops as you huh? There's cops everywhere, bro. Yeah, everywhere, yeah. <laughs> I want to be, I'm recording right now. Are you recording? Yeah, well, I got a friend that does a TV show. He's a truck driver, Lockout Man. Oh, okay. You should look it up on YouTube, Lockout Man. Oh, okay. Hey. That's what he does. My brother from Sometimes another mother. Want, huh? Sometimes you don't want to see people. Yes. You know what I mean? You what? Sometimes you don't want to see people. Oh, yeah. They don't like it. You know what I mean? You don't want to see them. You don't want to see them. That's it right there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you get it. I got it. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Teamwork, bro. Me and my homie got the video. I like it. He actually he was there. He was there in the in the truck stop when it was going on. I believe I believe he got there afterwards, but but he was there in this parking lot where he got out of the truck and actually sent me a couple of videos about somebody getting killed at this pilot. Up in Virginia, up in West Virginia, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase right quick, but it says uh, a young lady, Aaron Christine Queens, 55 of Salem, West Virginia, was struck twice Monday the second 
in a parking lot in the pilot near the skipper's exit. Unfortunately, she was walking in the back of the truck and the truck driver started backing up and he didn't see her. And then boom, he hit her. And then when everybody was telling, he hit her and actually ran over her. And then when everybody was telling him that to stop, 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 he puts it in, in, in forward and runs back over her again. That's crazy. That's why in the fuel islands, you know, when you walk up and down these fuel islands, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. You know what I'm saying? But even for the drivers that's in the fuel island and about to back up, and even if you backing up anyway, let people know that you backing up. Flashers, you honk your horn, whatever. Sometimes you might just need to get out of the truck and see if anybody's back there because if you start backing up, you're going to you, you're going to do what this dude did and it wasn't cool. Uh police said that it wasn't no alcohol involved. Uh I guess the driver just didn't know uh that she was back there and um and yeah, he he ran her over. Where we at? North Carolina? No, Virginia. Virginia, exit four. Exit four. They said that there's fucking there's cops everywhere, bro. A fucking uh, obviously a fucking a fatality happened in the parking lot. I don't really know what. But I'm here alive. And he ran her over twice. <laughs> Pulled forward and ran her over. So rest in peace to that young lady right there. Super shout out to my dude D Nitty right quick uh, for sending me, you know, sending me a little bit of footage. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's tragic, man. That's that's tragic to know. All right, and one last uh, one last topic, right quick, man. Before I get up out of here, you guys know Swift. <laughs> I I made that video a couple of days ago telling you guys about that uh that viral message that went viral literally and I said that it was allegedly Swift that that uh that put it out well actually it was Swift that put it out <laughs> They um they blame a new driver manager go figure Blame the new guy, right? Blame the new guy. But they blame a new driver manager that was being overzealous, and they came back with another uh, another message, trying to trying to clean up. Um, uh, well, you know, I did not mean to uh, say that I want you to drive in in bad weather. I'm I'm just saying if you can drive in, nah, nah, bruh. Nah, bro. The way you made that letter, the way you made that message the first time, you made it a point, and you said, "Fuck you, fuck you, get the load there." Now you're coming back because you're caught, and and now the company has had to play cleanup because it's all over the internet. I don't think. <laughs> I, I I think right now that Swift sent another message, why, uh, why telling their drivers now. Yo, anything pertaining to the messages that comes over to Qualcomm, don't don't take a picture and send it out. You would think. Hmm. I would think. Nah, I ain't gonna say nothing about it because if anything dealing with Swift and and is is involved craziness, we gonna see it. I forgot where I was at. Hmm. I had to, I had to change the card. The uh, camera went out while I was in mid sentence. I was like, man, what the hell? <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So Swift, like I said, man, they if anything involving Swift, you know we're gonna find out about it. It is so crazy that they're they they got un untrained driver mess. I mean driver managers sending bully messages to their drivers i don't know man i don't know i don't know so 
So, hey, look, listen. Uh, if you guys like content like this, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? I am your humble host, Lockout Men. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me. You know, you, the views, the subscriptions, everything. Yo, keep it up, and I will continue to keep bringing you good content like this. Until next video, man. Until next time. You guys take it easy. Lockout Men, out.